I was always kind of the artsy guy, like I would do drawing, but I also had this real technical bent. And then as I've gone on, I've, I've slowly, I've sort of gradually merged those interests in my own practice. So this uh, machine is doing about one drawing an hour and then it's running you know, for a week or two, um, you know, 12 hours a day doing that. So as with each successive image, you know, lighting conditions change, you know, transients like cars and people move through the frame um, and things that are permanent get you know, darker as the image is layered upon itself. So in the final product, you're seeing something that's a record of the passage of time in the place. So technically this, this system is what you'd call a, a CNC system, which is a kind of a, a family of technologies from the world of automation and machining. And so basically I can give it very precise like sub-millimeter movements. The plotter is being controlled by a small uh, Linux computer, which basically takes photos from this camera that's looking out at the street through the lens. Um, it does some simple image analysis on that and then sends, produces a list of instructions for the machine to draw. The impetus for that comes from my own history as a painter and drawer, uh, where I've had an interest in the idea of like hand-eye coordination and you know the precise control of the pencil. And I've done a series of these kind of diagrammatic drawings, uh, starting with freehanding, then tracing. And I think that building a machine that can operate at a precision beyond the human hand is kind of another success step in that succession. I think what I do is I put I put the I put viewers in closed loops with these intelligent systems. It, it makes you think about both parts of that system. It makes you think about the nature of the machine and what machines are capable of and what we do and don't ask of them. And it also makes you think about people and what people are capable of that you know can't be automated or replicated. Coming to DX Arts um, and to UW was the kind of the you know part of what attracted it me to this place was that they were a place that took like that took both parts of the practice very seriously. I think you can find a lot of like new media and technical sorts of um, graduate programs, but you don't find a lot of these that have that really take the art part seriously as well. The faculty don't really give us a break. Like it's it's on the one hand, you need to push the limits technically. Like we should be doing things that people haven't done before using like the new, you know, the cutting edge stuff. Um, but they're also wants to push the limits artistically and say that like we're not satisfied with what people have done so far with these tools or even with other more traditional forms and saying that what we're doing needs, you know, we need to, you know, integrate integrate these new tools to make vanguard art. The, the really great thing about DX Arts um, are the people foremost and the kind of the resources. Like we just have amazing, we have access to amazing uh, equipment and facilities and it, it allows us just to, to make things that people can't do at other programs.